as y'all see by the title, y'all know what today is. What's going on YouTube? K-Rob here, bring you episode three of Until Dawn. Thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all have been showing me on this channel and on this series. I highly appreciate every single one of y'all. In the last episode, a lot was going on, let's just say the least. Now, we had the whole thing with Jess, right? Now, I can't confirm if Jess is dead. We got to her, and she was like moving her body, but then she dropped down the little elevator shaft, you feel me? Then we had the whole Josh situation. Ooh. I got nothing else to say about that, honestly. Uh, R.I.P. Josh for the for the most part, you know what I'm saying? The story right now is getting really spicy. It's getting juicy, y'all, you feel me? Without further ado, let's jump right into episode three of Until Dawn. Plug. Chapter five, y'all. Dread. Six hours until dawn. All right. What we got today, man. Every like every chapter gets crazier and crazier. I'm peeping. I'll be back with Mike, man. Oh my god. This little hunt he's going on for Jess. Hey, man. That's really nice. I gotta respect Mike for this. Sanatorium. That's the wolf that we saw on one of those totems, right? It's the it's this dude's wolf. Oh no! Nah. What is that? But we're getting closer to see his identity too. He's not wearing his little gas mask. If you want. oh wait a minute. This dude, Mike, is bold, bro. I respect it, though. I'm not gonna lie. He's trying to play hero ball. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but I respect it. Let me be ready. In case there's some QTEs off the rip. I know how this game get. Oh, we back, we back. Okay, okay. Ooh. Dude, the sanatorium. What? Now, what is a sanatorium? I got, I, I forgot to look that up, but I'm assuming it's like a asylum, like insane asylum or something. You know what? Let me look that up real quick. You know what I'm saying? That could be the word of the day, to be honest. Sanatorium. Sanatorium, an establishment for the medical treatment of people who are convat- huh? What? What? Like, bro, y'all know when the, uh, the a definition has a bigger word in it that you have to go look up? Why do they do that, bro? It's like, bro, I'm trying to look up a definition. Give me simpler terms. They got a word in here that I got to look up. Like, I got to look up a word in a word. Like, what is that? But yeah, it's basically a hospital for, like, the mentally ill, bro. Oh, my goodness, bro. It's like, dang, bro, why do y'all put a big word in a definition that I'm looking up? Like, I'm looking up the definition for simpler terms, like a simpler meaning, bro. Hold up, before we go into the sanatorium, wasn't Buddy over here uh, messing with this little this little door? What's, what's this all about? Before we even check the front door, what is this? Or is this the actual way in? And I just like, oh, this is the actual way in. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. That's crazy. I wasn't even like, I, I should assume that the front door was locked. You, you can never go in through the front door in these type of games, I'm not gonna lie. The front door is always gonna be locked. All right. Oh. Barf. Yeah, oh. I, I could just oh. imagine the stank that's going on down what here, bro. This place is sewer. <laughs> bro, it must smell like ten cans of bounce that ass in here. That's all I know. Damn, son. Oh. How do we do this? What's the significance of pushing that? Oh wait, is this to like get up, get on top? You know what? Wait, let's wait real quick. Let me look around. That's the thing, bro. Things be moving a little too fast, and I don't even think I looked at everything that was outside. To be honest with you, because I could have checked the other side of the sanatorium, but hey, man, it is what it is. This man, Mike, is on his own adventure, huh? Like he doing a little solo journey here. Like, this is the most serious I've ever seen, Mike. Be cool. Look like he balancing on this. You, you gotta balance on that? I swear, I'm, I'm just gonna walk right through it. That doesn't look like something you need to balance on. What's this? Oh. Oh, we... We just... <laughs> we just broke into this whole place like that. That's different. <laughs> Alright. Cool. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my 
gosh, man. This is scary. A mental hospital? Y'all got it, bro. We on, bro, we on this dude's tail, boy. He don't have, he has no clue. He has no clue, bro. Whoa, what the? So he just be living in here? And he, oh, he has two wolves. I didn't peep the other one. The other one had, is, is a little darker. I didn't see, bro, in the, in the shadows. Locked, okay, security pass. So we gotta find a key what to that door. This is nuts. <laughs> You telling me things just got a little bit freaky. Huh? Oh, now you moving with a sense of urgency. I like that. Oh, now you went back to walking. It's like they be running for three seconds, then they start walking again. What is that all about? What is that? Look at that. The Blackwood Pine Sanatorium. Opened 1922. Men Santa in corp Corpore Sano. Okay. Cool. Wait, what's that? Can I open this front door? Just to, like unlock it to go back outside real quick? Oh, wait. I knew there was some stuff at the front door. Hold on. Wait. Memorandum? That's weird. They just forced them all out? Date 4th, January 1952. Sanatorium staff, Mr. Roche. Uh, rescue of minors. Be advised that the minor rescue is due to be completed tomorrow, January 5th, as the number of surviving minors is unknown. Prepare all beds in Ward A. The press shall be in attendance tomorrow. We must be seen to be giving the minors the best possible care. Note that press visitors are not to be allowed in the psychiatric ward. Failure in this regard would reflect badly upon Mr. Bragg and the sanatorium as a whole and shall result in the on-the-spot dismissal. Whoa. You need a nose peg. Those guys smell awful. What? Wait, they treat those minors really bad up here, huh? Whoa. Hold on, can I open this? Okay, okay, so that's good. We can go back outside. I wanted to check. Okay, I don't think there was. Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought there was somewhere I could go over here, but I guess not. I knew there was something down here, y'all. I knew I, bro, I, I did not look everywhere outside, bro. I did not look everywhere. I was, I was literally mad about that. Okay, cool. It's the red totem. It's Sam. Bro, that's like the second totem we've seen Sam in that towel, bro. And she was getting chased in the first one. Now she's like someone. I think it's that it's that psycho dude that's following her around too in the um in the cabin. That is crazy, Sam. I'm worried about you, Sam. <laughs> oh my gosh, girl. That's the worst way to get caught lacking, bro. When you're taking a bath. Ooh. Come on now. That is just the worst. I think I'm getting sick, y'all. Y'all know like the first stages of like feeling like you're getting sick. Like you just wake up and you know like something is coming. I hate feeling like I'm about to be sick. The condemned. Awesome. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? Condemned. It is deemed unlawful for any person to use or occupy the structure forthwith. June 12th, 1954. Well, you go explain that to the uh, the creepy dude that's walking around with the two wolves. Because he's definitely using this place as a, as a main base. <laughs> this right here is one of them secret layers for him. Admin. Sound like somewhere uh, a key would be, right? Admin? Oh. Looky here. Oh. Someone really wanted to take a peek inside. Oh. I thought we were gonna have to find a uh <laughs> find like a combination of something. This is this will do as well. What we got in here? What is this? Clocking in cards. Oh, shit, 30 clocking man. in mine cards. What? 30 clock in cards, bro. So were there like 30 miners that got caught in that uh in that cave, bro? Jeez, this place is just, it got like one of those eerie vibes to it. Morgue. Hey! What did I see? I didn't see anything. I just heard some noises. Hold on. <laughs> rewind, rewind. What else we got in here? Hold on. <laughs> before we even, before we even step foot into there, bro. <laughs> Y'all got it, bro. I knew there was going to be some crazy stuff happening here, but hey, man, I'm not ready for the jumpies yet. Let's just ease into that. Is this a camera? Broken camera. 
Uh, this lens of this camera is smashed. It looks like someone did this on purpose. Okay, I gotta read more of these clues. Like, I didn't know, like, they, they go deeper into explaining what the clues are like that. So, yeah, we're definitely gonna just keep looking into the clues every time I find them just to, like, you know, find some more lore about them. Somebody did not want no type of evidence. It's giving male practice in here, bro. A lot of stuff is not supposed to be shown because they're like, yo, make sure uh, the press don't get into this this room here. Like, why y'all? What y'all trying to hide in this uh, in this mental hospital, bro? What y'all doing in here? It's a newspaper. Huh? Whoa. On Blackwood Mountain. The Alberta Post, January 9th, nineteen fifty-two. Reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Blackwood Pines AB. A reporter from the Alberta Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Chuck Bernstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically rescued on Tuesday. The men had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Jefferson Bragg, sole proprietor of both the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told the Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate and that a full internal inquiry had been launched. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. And that's the camera that we just found not too long ago. Bernstein found something and took a picture of it, and they were like, whoa, hold on, bro. Give me that camera. They confiscated the camera and smashed the lens, bro. You know what it's giving? It's giving Typhon Mining. That's what it's giving, bro. That's what it's giving. What are y'all hiding, bro? Y'all doing some crazy stuff around here. What else y'all hiding over here, bro? What is this? Pocket watch? To my darling Jefferson, we have all the time in the world. What? I'll take that. Wait. Okay. Now, am I tripping or was the doll sitting up here, bro? Y'all see? Y'all saw that? Go back in the video a little bit. The doll was sitting right here on this counter. And now it's on the ground. And I didn't even hear it fall. It just like, it just fell onto the ground and I didn't hear anything. What? Or am I tripping? Huh? Some weird stuff going on in here, bro. It's feeling a little bit haunted in here. Let me keep moving. Some more clues. Yup. What is this? They showing us a lot of clues here, y'all. Minor medical report. Attending physician, Dr. NHF Bowen. Medical report. Report follows RE, the initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. Admittance. On receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men, starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appear cogent and relatively healthy, attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency emergency food supplies in the mine. Inhibited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men, as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Treatment. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronchoscopy and are prescribed a course of st streptomies. Damn, Whoa, son. Bro, Listen, I'm telling y'all, bro, the big words y'all be using in this game, man. Hey, look, I, <laughs> I'm about to learn some new terms after this. Streptomycin. Huh? Streptomycin. What? The others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation. Signed, Dr. Nicholas Henry Fowlis Bowen. All right, cool. One of the guys actually tried to bite me. I'm gonna report it to Dr. Bowen. What the, wait, hold on, what's going on in the mines, bro? Why are they trying to bite people? Look at the, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, psychologically, they all not there. So like, you know, some of them might have just went insane. That's crazy, 23 days in the mines, bro? In a dark mine? Y'all know when they say like, when you're in a dark room for a long period of time, bro, you start to go like insane a little bit. That's what I think kind of happened, bro. People started to go insane down there. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it trucking. Wait, is these stairs? These stairs are going down, bro. Why do we have to go deeper into the sanatorium? Why couldn't the, <laughs> why couldn't the key card just be like close by? Why do we have to go deeper in? Oh my gosh, bro. Wait a minute, hold on y'all. I just went back into those medical notes and it just said, update, the report mentions 12 miners, but there were 30 clocking in cars retrieved from the mine. 
there is no indication of what happened to the other 18 minors. I was thinking that when I was reading this medical note, because it did say like it's only said 12 minors, but it said 30 clock in cards of minors. So yeah, what happened to the 18 others? Wait, hold on, bro. I feel like I'm in Scooby-Doo, bro. We trying to solve a mystery. All right, things are getting getting weird now, bro. Not, not like they haven't already been weird, but... Huh? Yo? Oh shit! Okay, we got a weapon. That's that's what we need. Get that weapon. Don't worry about the being the, being gross. We need that machete. Come on. Just in case we might have to slice and dice, bro. Turn this shit into the fruit ninja. Let's get it. Here we go, Mike. You looking battle ready, bro? You definitely looking battle ready. Come on. Please, please, please. I hate the curtain stuff. Please. Shit. Oh, Restraining chair? What happened here? Hold on, I need to see that. A chair with leather straps to restrain the patient. There's blood on it. It looks like it was used as part of a weird experiment. Whoa. They getting a little weird in here, y'all. Wait a minute. This ain't your ordinary mental hospital. I mean, I never really went into a mental hospital, so I can't really tell you, like, what's in there. But all I know is... This is mad illegal. This has to be. Twisted fuckers like to watch, I guess. What? And they got like a little a little room in the back to watch what's going on? Nah, no, y'all some sick individuals. Hold up, can I go into that room? Is there a way in there? Dang, okay. We kind of getting into the nitty gritty of things though. There's a lot of collectibles and stuff that you have to find, especially in this place. Now we're finding out a little bit more on like what's going on here. That's good. And what is this, a totem? Good, good, good. Come on, come on. I'm locked in, bro. We focused up. Definitely a guidance totem, too. Why does Chris got the pistol to his... Bro, what? Uh-uh. Why does he have a pistol to his head like that? What is Chris doing? I'll be damned. I'll be damned if he pops his own self, bro. How many days will they keep us? Oh, this is... What could... Who? Yo, the... Wait a minute, nah, they acting like this is a prison. What's going on here? But back to that Chris thing, bro. I'll be damned if I let Chris die on my watch. That's like my favorite character right now. Y'all messing up. <laughs> Y'all, uh-uh. Huh? I don't know what I saw. It was like the peripheral right here. You know what I'm saying? And I think I saw like, I, I want to say it was, a, it was one of the wolves. I'm not going to lie. I just couldn't tell. Like, I wasn't looking that way. I'm going to go over here first just to check everything. Like, look, we got some stuff in here we got to check out real quick. Let me see. What is this? Now this place just gets better and better. Ooh, no, no, no. Huh? Huh? Is there anything I'm supposed to be looking at? Why do he say huh like that? Is he, does he see something that I'm not seeing? I, I don't see anything. Okay. That wheelchair is still spinning. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. Okay, cool. That's something that I've always wondered, though, y'all. Like, what do they be doing for real to people in insane asylums or, like, mental hospitals and stuff like that? You know what I mean? Like, I just be feeling like they treat the patients very, very bad. Like, they're already mentally ill, and they're just getting treated like this. It's crazy. Hold on. Have you been here? Oh, this was the other side. Yeah. Okay. This was the, um... The other side of the room, okay, with the restraining chair. Okay, I don't think anything was supposed to be in there. Here we go, though. Excuse me? Ah, shit on my shingle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this what he was feeding? Hold up! Wait a minute, 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 wait a I've seen way too many Saw movies to fall for this. When you have something like this that's like in a creepy little asylum in a mental hospital and it's just like waving his hand like that and it's in a box, do not grab it, bro. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I feel I have a feeling there's a trap in here, bro. I just have a weird feeling about it. Cause why is it waving? It wants me to grab it. It got a little sign on it or whatever. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that tag is. I don't know if I even need it. I'm just gonna walk past it. If I don't need to grab it, I'm not gonna grab it, bro. It like it's too convenient. You know what I mean? Like it's in the middle of this room. It's waving. It's like in a box. Like what's in this box? I'm not trying to find out, bro. This ain't no magic hat. I'm not trying to pull something out of there, bro. I know a rabbit ain't coming out if I pull on it. I know for a fact. I'm not doing it. Plug. What's this? What's up, chatterbox? Hanging out. Dude. What? Strange skull. Wait, hold on. A disfigured human head suspended in formaldehyde. What? That thing looks nasty. Nah, they over here doing some Dexter's laboratory activity over here, bro. 
mad scientist type of vibes, man. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. What's in here? Okay, a body is missing. Emergency medical tag named Nicholas Bowen. Attacked by inmate, fatal lacerations to throw. What? Excuse me? Wait a minute. A mortuary tag, the name on it reads Nicholas Bowen. Wasn't there another Bowen somewhere? Yeah, the medical note, Dr. NHF Bowen. Nicholas Henry Fowlis Bowen. Wait, this is the guy that got his neck. Yeah, what? One of the inmates slashed his throat. Oh, snap. Hold on. It's like putting puzzle pieces together in this place, bro. What is this? Are you sure he's not gonna find a fucking key card? <laughs> <laughs> bro, we, we been had to find one, bro. <laughs> he's like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> I'm tempted, bro. My intrusive thoughts are telling me to do it, bro. I don't, oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Cause you know what's gonna happen, bro. You know it's not a, it's a trap, bro. Cause there's no way this random hand is just shaking it. Like it's literally shaking, it's just waving at you to like tell you to, hey, come here, come here. You know what I'm saying? Like we got something for you. But it's, it's, it's a trap, bro. I promise you the setup is so there. I see it. I see it, bro. I see the setup. Like I've watched way too many of those movies, bro. Way too many to fall for that. I'm not gonna lie. What is this? Body is this? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> okay, we got the we got the key card that we needed. Okay, cool. Let's take that. Yup. Thank you. Okay, let's check this out. Whole rat just fell out of bro's mouth. Wow. You know what? Can I push him back in? Okay, I was gonna say out of respect, I'll just put him back in there, but they're not gonna let me. Uh-huh, some more clues. Okay. Ooh, name of the sea, Sarah Smith, date of death. February 24th, 1952. I hereby certify that I attended deceased from March 8th, 1951 to February 24th, 1952, and last saw her alive on February 24th, 1952. Cause of death, severe lacerations to the abdomen, intra-abdominal injuries, subsequent blood loss. If death was due to external causes, violence, fill in also the following. Accident, suicide or homicide, homicide, manner of injury, laceration by sharp implement, Possibly fingernails. Additional notes, please use the box provided over the leaf for any additional relevant information. Signed by N. Bowen, Nicholas Bowen, again, y'all. Oh, additional notes, body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. Cannibalism? Wait, what? Do we know if it's a person? Wait, hold on. A hastily written death certificate dated 24 February 1952. It describes a body as partially eaten. Interesting, that's very interesting. We do have miners losing their minds, so cannibalism isn't out the picture. That's also a possibility. Talking about losing their sanity and stuff, like psychologically, like losing themselves. Hard to be integrated back into society. Like they are definitely going insane. So I'm, I'm not going, uh, I'm not going to deny the cannibalism stuff. Oh my gosh, okay, we get to go back upstairs. All right, good. I do not want to be down here anymore, cause it was getting weird down there, y'all. It definitely was getting weird. We will find a lot of stuff about this place, and this place is not a good place. Hey! Oh my god, I'm so in love. I found you finally. Let me in. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on. QTE, QTEs, bro. QTEs, bro. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. That boy. <laughs> hey, it's the quickest I see you run, Mike. You gotta have a wolf on your ass to run this fast, boy. Golly. <laughs> oh. Butterfly effect. Wait, hold on. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was this butterfly effect for? Hold on. Mike got to the morgue. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, there was something about that. I told y'all. I told y'all there was something about that hand that was a little too freaky, bro. Talking about some ee, 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 ee. I don't know about that. I ate, hey, bro. I'm good off that one. I'm good off that one, bro. Y'all got me messed up. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. He think he's slick. He think he the mastermind, bro. Okay. What is he, the game master? Nah, bro. <laughs> I'm about to checkmate you, bro. He think he, he think he know everything. Just wait until I get a hold of him. Watch this. What we got here? Oh, I gotta jump down. Okay. Hey, come on. After this, Mike, you're gonna have to get your knees checked, bro. Cause you've been jumping from a lot of tall places, bro. Right. Shoot. Back in here. And it's about time you put a pep in your step. Look, see, every time I say something about him running or jogging, he just stops running. It's like three seconds, bro, and he just stops. Come on, open this door, bro. Let's get this, let's get this situated. I'm, okay, cool. I'm not gonna do nothing to you. I'm not gonna do nothing to you. Chill. Okay. Chill. Mike, calm down. It's cool. We can be friends. We can be friends. Easy. Easy. Okay. Good boy. Was it gonna let me hit that dog? I mean... I guess I, I, I could have, but I ain't gonna lie, he scared the mess out of me so bad, I kind of froze. Damn, son. <laughs> I kind of froze up, bro. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. What's this? So. Little jacket? What have we here? Let's get a little cozy. Go ahead and put that on. You know it's cold outside. Take that. There you go. Huh. It's looking good. Oh. oh come on. Come on. Huh? Mike, be for real. You think you're reaching that dog? He really thought he was gonna reach that from there. Come on, there we go. Let's use some. Let's use some common sense here, bro. You know damn well you weren't going, Mr. Fantastic. Stretch all the way over there for that gun. Come on, bro. Got me a little toolie though. You feel me? Make sure you did some ammo in there. Make sure it's not jammed. You know how you are with the jam guns, bro. Come on now. Okay, well, the wolf is chilling. Wolf is cooling. All right, bet. Cool, cool. All right, what we got over here? So, oh, got himself a little Indian cigar. That boy's smoking good, ain't he? Hold on. A wooden cigar box. Only a single cigar is left. It has a distinctive brand label. Yeah, that boy on that boy on that chill vibe type, bro. What if I just took this cigar, started lighting it, and smoked it in front of him? Mm. How about that? You causing all this terror. How about I take your last cigar? Which how you gonna feel about it? It's like a uh, it's a chest. What we got? Please, nothing crazy. Please, please, please. So keep the wolves fat and happy. Oh, it's a bone. Oh, for the wolf. Okay, wait, hold on. Maybe we could be pals or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, can I pet the wolf? Hey there, buddy. Hey. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got a little something for you. Look. Here you go. Go ahead. Yeah, that's there it. you go. Do your thing. Yeah. See, we could be friends. We cool, right? Where your brother Easy. at? I know you got another uh another wolf around. Easy. Where he at? That's a good boy. That's Let right. me pet the wolf too. Okay, okay. I guess we cool. Nice, nice, nice. All right, all right. Bad, bad, bad. You're chilling. I'm chilling. Everyone's happy. All right, cool. Oh, wait a minute. This is an office. What we got in here? Aha! Uh -huh. This this stranger we got going here. He he's been very active. Look at this. A map of the mountain with sightings and recent disappearances marked with dates. It looks like the work of an obsessive mind. Local man found dead. Liars. Footprints found. Sighting. American girls died. Father died. Wendigo killed. Wendigo? Wendigo killed? There's two Wendigos were killed. 14 missing in mountains. Wait, I just peeped. Bigfoot sighted in? Wait, hold on. What? Wendigos and Bigfoot? Huh? Bro, what is a Wendigo though? I know what Bigfoot is, but what is a Wendigo? What does a Wendigo look like? Whatever, bro. What, what is this? Oh, we we have to shoot this? I don't want to waste ammo. I mean, like, that's the thing. Like, if, if I could find a key or something. Okay, it's not letting me exit out, so I just shoot it open. Never mind. All right. I mean, one is all right. One is all right. You know, all, all it takes is one bullet to maybe kill that man. I don't know, bro, but you got to make sure you save your ammo, bro. You don't know what's coming up next. What is going on, bro? It's getting a little freaky neaky in here, bro. Huh? It's getting freaky neaky. <laughs> oh, gosh. Huh? 
Oh, okay, okay, what is this? The Miracle Man, the successful rescue of Miracle. all 12 miners trapped in the disaster of 5th January 1952. I hate, I hate saying it like that. January 5th, 1952. Why do I keep saying the number first? Like, I know that's how it is sometimes, but I'm used to the month, the date, and then the year. That's, that's how I like it. You know what I'm saying? Plug. Let me read more about that, though. What did that say? Oh, wait. The clocking car was updated. The photograph only showed 12 survivors. Oh, yeah, so what happened to the 18 other? We, we, we know about that though, like we know about that. What happened to the others? A framed photo of the group of miners rescued after a cave-in dated 1952. The plaque says that all 12 miners survived. There were 30 clocking cars though. Yeah, that's weird. They're hiding something, bro. And you know what I think happened? I think they're using the other 18 miners as test subjects for something has to be it, it's, it's just giving off that vibe bro i think the 18 others might have lost their mind and they're just using them as test test subjects you feel me i could be completely wrong but from what i've gotten here from the clues it, it's just all like i don't know it's weird huh? okay i think i heard some footsteps i'm <laughs> I, I got some other thing wait 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 before we do that before we do that i don't think wait oh we can't even go this way anyway never mind this is the right way i was just hearing some footsteps bro i was not messing with it i was not oh, messing with that it's locked. it's locked again what you want me to do shoot it damn son damn with authority all right mike let him know you coming yeah all right bet. no way mike 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 Mike, no! You better get the hole in the ass, Mike! What the fuck? What? Plug. My man Willie is the game master. Mm. He's sitting in the back with his feet up, arms folded and everything, with a, with a damn margarita in his hand, just swishing it around like, yeah, I got this. Man, this dude is weird. I'm playing as Mike and Emily now. I mean, Matt and Emily. Oh my gosh, bro. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. I, that's There's what I said last episode, too. I was like, if y'all want to go check, y'all go check. See them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Nah, you did. Like, honestly, y'all should have seen how it was set up, though. It, it literally looked like something out of the movies. I'm not gonna lie. It literally looked like something set up from a movie. It was that bad, bro. Oh, wasn't this the place Look, that we originally went to? An axe. I feel better with an axe. Oh, yeah, let's take this. W weapon. At least we got a weapon. Yeah, let's do... Wait, is this the axe from the, uh, the cabin? An axe stuck into the door of the cabin. Okay, it definitely wasn't there before. Okay, there was an axe missing... In, in uh in episode one if y'all remember there was a it's like a broken case outside of the cabin and it was missing oh what now this is locked matt we'll break the door down will you wait a second we start to smash hey. shit down he's gonna hear us well you got any better suggestions i don't know man we got an axe i ain't what? worried about it now my confidence Look, just boosted with this axe. What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. <laughs> you will never fit through there, big the guy. The thing about Emily, though, like, she be verbally abusing Matt. <laughs> and that's the craziest thing about her. Like, that's the one thing I can't get behind with Emily is that she be verbally abusing Matt. And that's, that's tough. I love her character, though. I love her character. But I feel like if she wasn't dating Matt, I would like her way more. It's just the fact that she be verbally abusing that man. Um, Smash door, help Emily through. Uh, Emily don't got a weapon. I'm the one that got a weapon. I'm smashing through that mug. I do not care. Come on. Okay, fine. Come on. Here smash goes. through that. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! All right, Dave. All right, calm down. I gotta get my... You know what I'm saying? Dang. That's all we had to do. Yeah. All right, Matt. I guess you all kind of macho. All right, bro. My fault, I didn't mean to disrespect him. The last episode, talking about, you know, he was being somebody he not, you know. I made that choice, though. I could have been like, Emily, go through that window. But you know what? It's all right. It's all good. Oh. Damn. Oh, yeah, somebody did not want us to. <laughs> what happened? 
I wonder what this person was. <laughs> what did he want us to do? He want us to die or something? I wonder. What the fuck is going on? It's gotta be How many times you put dye on the walls and floors and stuff? Chris and Ash and Josh. He's gotta know this is the only way back. Wait, don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's. I, I mean, that's not far, right? You you can jump it. I'm good, Em. Did she just say that? I'm not that good. Flattered, though. Did she really just you ask if I could jump, jump that? that? What are we gonna do? I, I don't know. Girl, be so fucking for real. God, everything is Emily. Like so Emily, let me see how far that is. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Emily, you really thought I could jump this? Huh? Be so for real. Hey, there's gotta be something we can do. I'm all ears. Look at all this. The map? Mm, sanatorium, that's where Mike's at. Ranger Path, cable car. We're at the cable car right now. Hey, look! Fire tower. Fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working Dick and Magellan. take the show on the road, huh? Girl, my name Matt. Can you call me by my name? Like, stop, stop talking to me like that. What's wrong with you? Like, the disrespect on Emily is crazy, especially to Matt. Like, dang. Calm down. We all in danger. Can we all like be together? Like we're all in this together, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you seen High School Musical? Start, start singing. Crazy. Hey. No keys, no cable car. So back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on on the map you found? Well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or, or something. I mean, it it would, wouldn't nah, it? Nah. Probably, yeah. The thing yeah, with that though, that radio. it's like, what if we get there and we don't, we don't, like, there's no radio. Like, I'm not willing to risk that because on the way there, we might run into something that we're not, we're not capable of, of, of fighting. You know what I'm saying? So, how about we just all regroup at the cabin and figure out a game plan? The radio sounds nice, but I feel like we just need to head back. I don't want, I don't want smoke. I'm not. I don't know him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I mean, know about that. Work, but I, I kind of think that maybe we should get back to the lodge for now. I mean, everyone, everyone's been split up for so long. Thank you. That's okay, what so I'm saying. First, you want to leave the lodge. Now you want to go back. You don't know what the right thing to do is any more than I do, Matt. And I say that we should go to the fire tower and get on the radio and call for more help. Emily. And that's that. Do you see the words that are written in this room right now? If you and you want to still go out to I that do, damn Matt, fire I'm tower? I'm that you don't too. I do. I do. Really? I feel like strength in numbers, though. Like, we gonna need more than two people with us, bro. That's all I'm saying. Like, I don't know. It's always two to, It's always two or one person. It's, it's never like a group of us together. What is this? See? Like, Very die, friendly. die. It's oh dies God. all over the place. And y'all want me to go and go to a fire tower that's, like, probably a, a, a long way from here? I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how close that is on that map. That map could be totally inaccurate. I don't know. It's a lot of things I gotta take into consideration with this. Are we still going to this fire tower after I said I disagree with going? Are y'all serious? What's cooking? Good looking? I'm dead. Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. <laughs> he be cooking, man. All right, don't hurt yourself now. Be smooth now. We really doing this? Look at this bad boy. You coming with me, buddy? All right, I guess we doing it. And just like magic, come on down. We can totally get out. Of I'm in way. total disagree with this. This is like one of the easiest ways to get got. <gasps> I got you. Yup, yup. See, I told you. I told you. You better be yeah. careful. I got you. Don't worry, my baby. Um, you should go first. You should protect me. <laughs> All right. I see. I see. Yup. No, you're right. I should be going first. You're right. Okay. Okay, easy now. Can I at least get the flashlight or something? Or? All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Okay, come on. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Just keep walking. Why are you standing still? Come on. Come with me, Emily. Okay. Come on. You got to keep moving. Don't just stand there. That's how you get in your head. Access what happened? Thank God that's over. Yeah, Holy real. cannoli. <laughs> All right, cool. We good. Made it through that. Let's keep it moving. I want to see what's over here first. Anything? Nah. All right. 
Wait, wait, wait. What's in here? Can you shine that flashlight in here? Can I take that off you? Like, dang. Another totem. All right. It looks like a guidance totem, too. Mike. Dang. Okay, Mike is alive. He... It kind of looked like when he got blown back by the explosion. I don't know. I was kind of iffy about that, but I think he's good. I think he's all good. Girl, I need you to step in here when you shine on the flashlight. Like, how are you going to use a flashlight and be completely useless with it? Like, why are you using it for your if own... it doesn't work. What? The radio. It'll work. But, okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. I literally say let's go back to the cabin if it don't work. Now you're thinking, like, what if it down. doesn't work? Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It's, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. I hate these Hold two up, together. I'm sorry, y'all. It, it'll be like they just so toxic together. It, it's so bad. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. I feel like I would like them way more too if they were just like not together. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if they were just like their own person. They just so it's bad together. Option. The sanatorium we saw on the map. I think yeah, y'all don't. Y'all don't want to go there. Built a place like that on a mountain without some emergency contact to the outside world. Yeah. You might be right, but I have no desire to go spooking around in that place. <laughs> Let's put it in the maybe column. Wait, wait, wait. We're going a little too deep out there. I want to see. Yeah, see? I almost walked past this. What's in here? These, like, little shacks, these little cabins, they're, they all look so familiar. Huh? Oh, Beth's phone? Beth never went anywhere without her cell phone. She must have passed this. Oh, yeah, because she did drop her phone. She did. This is where they fell. Oh, this is Beth's phone. I thought the police, like, swept the whole area. Well, it looks like they missed this. Yo, that's crazy. So, yeah, this right here is where they ran. And I think that's the cliff that they fell off of, too. It is, bro. Oh, my goodness. Look. Watch where you step around here, Em. Oh my God. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off the top. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. <laughs> I was making sure you good. Like, dang. <laughs> Matt, what is that? No way. No way. I seen this in a totem too, and of course it had to be the gang of elks, bro. It's a gang of elks, bro. Is this really how I'm about to get played? What? By my arch enemies? Oh, Sam. She vibing, having a good old time. Not knowing her friends are getting took. Girl, you have no idea. Oh. He get himself a little peep. What the? F <laughs> what? Hello? Yo. Guys? That psycho freaked out. What are you doing out there? I'm not gonna lie, Sam. Creepy. Okay. I know you're having yourself a little relaxation time, but you have no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> There's a couple instances where I saw you running for your dear life in this towel right here. Yup. Okay, this is it. This is it. We gotta, we gotta protect Sam, y'all. Pete's sakes, my clothes, really? Bro left her Whichever one Whichever one sock. of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, <laughs> not cool, guys. I'm dead. Not cool at all. Bro, bro took all her clothes besides one sock. That is so wild. First of all, can we, like, talk about this this tub, though? What? Boy, you could fit, like, at least five people in there. Like, that's a big tub, bro. Chris? Oh, uh, yeah. He set up the balloons Gosh. and everything, too. What the oh, hell? got arrows on them. Okay. Totem? Any totem? Yep. I knew it. 
Let me see that real quick. What kind of another guidance totem? Dang, I keep getting guidance totems. Bro. It's not like showing me where the premonition is on this totem. Does this mean like I got the totem already or something? Oh, dang, I got every guidance totem, bro. Plug. Yo, no, nah, that's crazy. Hold on. Let me look at the other ones. I had some fortune ones. Dang, Jess. Okay. Then mad hunger totems. The hunger totems are weird because it's not showing me like who the person is. It's just like showing me a first person POV of someone. All right, anyways, let's keep it moving, bro. The cycle wants to play a little game, bro. You, you see the cycle's on its Pennywise vibes right now. Got the balloons and everything. <gasps> bro, I'm hearing like footsteps on the other side of this, like this this wall right here. This, this wall is to my right. I heard some footsteps, bro. Hold on. I swear I heard, I heard footsteps, bro. Mike, Emily, this is really getting out of hand, okay? You buy your loan, it's all very Sam. funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? Woo, you girl. Have you had no idea what's been happening. <laughs> you had no idea. Like, I get you've been in your own world with the, with the earbuds in and everything, but hey, welcome to reality. This right here, Can some I weird stuff been going on. Now, Am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? <laughs> towel it is then. Oh, no. This is bad. Like, this is real bad, bro. Walking around in a towel. The violation is crazy. <gasps> I see him. Y'all see him in, down below? Boy, look at him. He's walking down the stairs. Uh-uh. Wait a minute. TV just cut on. That was just too random, bro. TV just randomly cuts on by itself. All right, cool, dog. Dang, like, what the f What? Bro, okay. <laughs> what is going on here? Who was that supposed to be on the TV? Hannah and Beth, bro? Like, why do you keep using those two as, like, scare tactics, bro? So what do we have here? La Viende Meat Processing. Jack Mahoney Slaughterhouse Equipment Sales. Circular saw, replacement blades. Excuse me? The only time I saw a circular saw was with the whole Josh and Ashley situation. You telling me bro just left his business card there? Like right here? Bro left his business card right here? Huh? Something's off about this. Something's getting very weird. It's already weird, but why is this like a random business card of of the saw blade place. Now nah, wait, hold on. Now I'm curious about that business card. Wait a minute. In order for saws and cutting blades, okay, it's not what you expect it to be delivered to a remote mountain lodge. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, like this cycle is all about business. Okay. Okay, if you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. Let's just play bro's game, man. Keep following these balloons, bro. He got the candles lit and everything. Like, he obviously wants us to go here. Where the hell are you guys? Oh, this is weird. <laughs> and that's what we, I think that's what I saw on the totem too. Hey, guys, come on. Oh, I'm done with this. I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here. Hello, Samantha. Oh, here we go. Here he goes with the jigsaw shit. All right, here we go. I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. Yeah, Sam, it's on. about to get really wicked for Open you. I'm not gonna lie. Eyes. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? What are you doing out there? A beautiful bathing woman. Why? Why Do you she... think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature? Why life? are you showing this to me? Why More freak, freak nature. Josh! How does it make you feel? Oh, 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 oh yes, yeah. Yeah, I, I, what did I do? I mean, girl, we got some explaining to do. No, I know that. No, 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 no. You've been out the game for a minute. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, let me sit up. Let me sit up. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Run. Oh, wait. No, throw the vase. Hell yeah. Yeah. Throw that mug at him. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If I'm hide, jump, jump, I'm not hiding. I'm not going to lie to y'all. If I had a towel on, I'm letting that bitch go. I'm letting, I don't, I do not care if I'm booty butt naked. <laughs> I do not care. Oh my goodness. I'm letting that thing drop. <laughs> uh-uh. She's holding on to that too. Like, me personally, I would have dropped that. Hive run. Keep running. Just keep running. He got a little limp too, man. Look at him. He got, he got a little walk to him. He waddling like the penguin. Are you kidding me? No handle? Force. Force that thing. Just force it open. Come on. Oh, he kind of caught up. I didn't. I didn't know he. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, now we good. We good. Come on, come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Sam. Man, she got a strong... Yeah! Ooh. I'm about to say she got a strong shoulder. There you go. Put a pep in that step. I remember this from the totem. She went in here. She went in here. She went into the um this little elevator thing right here. She went in here. I remember this from the totem, bro. Turn the light off. Turn the light off, though. Turn the light off, though. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Certainly didn't go according to plan. Now, did it? Such I think it did. For, for Sam. And yet, in a crucial moment, you are foiled by your own inadequacies. I told you, everything you do has consequences. Do you think this mistake won't have repercussions? I think I handled everything pretty what well, though. Do, what you say causes things to change. Yes. Oh, is Dr. Work. Hill real? We did exploring the source of your fear. And you've Cause... just gone and used it for ill. Mm hmm Your overwhelming fear of things that are dead. You have turned it against these people who you so desperately want to torment. Wait, what? Has it been worth it? What are you talking about? <gasps> wait, wait. Has he been talking to the cycle the entire time? It's wait, whoa. What are you gonna do? What? Are you gonna do? what? <laughs> calm down, calm down, just calm down. Relax. You're just here. Check us out as well. No, 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 Matt. You're gonna hurt us. No, chill, 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 Emily. Chill. Just be be cool. Be cool. You freak out, they gonna freak out, and then accidents gonna happen. Just relax. Do I have to walk? Oh, I gotta walk forward. Okay. See? Chill. Just relax. We're moving out the way for us. See? They mean no harm. Hold on. You gonna move? This one this one trying to challenge me. Is this the one that's been scaring me the entire time? We meet again, huh? Oh no, that the one. That other one died. Never mind. Walk Never forward. mind. It's okay. Yeah, we cool. Come on. Just chill. Just chill. It's just okay. chill. I was cool with one of y'all family members. You know what I'm saying? I didn't kill it either. I just let it. I, you know, it got it got snatched up. <laughs> That's what happened to it. Okay. 
Emily, let's get it. I can't believe we still go into this damn fire tower, bro. If we do manage to get someone on the radio, we will. Then we tell them we need help. But what do we do while we wait? We go back to the lodge and get everyone else. Oh God! What if not this radio doesn't lodge? work? We should stay here in case whoever it is needs to get back in touch with us. Let's get that radio working first. Dang, we made it here right away. Jeez, <laughs> we made it here fast. Okay, I think there's a path. Right Is that, no a, is that like a floodlight or something? I can't see what motion is detection. That? It's just a security light. Okay, motion yeah. sensor, probably. Alright. There was a yeah, there's a way up here. Let me go up here real quick. Definitely a totem. These type of pathways, totem based right here. Yep, see? Let me get that. What kind of totem is this? Oh. Jess? I think Jess is alive, bro. They still showing me like them totems of Jess. So like, I think when she fell, she actually survived. She's not dead. I can't even confirm that she's dead, bro, because I didn't see a, I didn't see a body. What the heck? I saw something. No, I saw a little something down there, bro. It was walking on fours. I saw it, dude. I saw it. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> that just... Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good off that. Let's keep it going. I saw something. Super weird. Nope, 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 nope. It looked like a human being that was like crawling on all fours, bro. I don't know what's going on here. And I'm sh for sure not going to ask no questions about it. Please, let's just get to this fire tower and get on that damn radio because there's something freaky going on in these damn woods, bro, and I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. We got the psycho, we got the stranger, and I think there's something else out there, bro. I'm telling you, there's a bald figure that's out there that's just moving around. It's not the stranger because the stranger got hair and the, the psycho got, got some hair too. It's, it's bald up top, but it got a little bit of the, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It, it's just something else out there, bro. They talking about Bigfoot, Wendigos and shit like that. Like, nah, man. The story just keep, keeps getting thicker and thicker, bro. The plot is thickening. <sighs> I'm not messing with it, bro. I'm, I don't know. I feel like my brain is like being tricked right now. Like there's a lot of things that are like I'm thinking that are true, but they're not true at all. Tell him you can't, you couldn't carry that axe up. We don't know what's up here, bro. We need weapons. I'm tired of y'all dropping y'all weapons. Like everything's all dandy up here, bro. Do you realize what's Why been is happening? So windy all of a sudden? We're almost inside. Hopefully we didn't go all the way out here for nothing. That's all I know. Cause I did not want to come out here. I wanted to go back to that cabin, but y'all were very persistent. So hopefully this works out in y'all favor, for real. Where's that radio first and foremost? There it is. Wait, let me see what's in here real quick. Oh, oh Hannah's sorry, missing poster. Hannah, we're still missing too. Missing. Have you seen this person? Hannah Washington. Hannah Washington was last seen in the location of the Blackwood Pine Ski Lodge, Alberta, between 1.30 a.m. and 2.30 a.m. on February 2nd, 2014. She may have been in some distress. Identifying clothing features, Hannah was wearing a black top, dark jeans, and brown leather boots. She was not wearing a coat. She has glasses and has a tattoo on her right shoulder. You know what's crazy? Dang, they didn't find her body? But did they find Beth's body? They didn't find Hannah though. Where did Hannah go? Dang. Oh, oh, sorry. Dang. Just slammed that right open, huh? Shoot. All right. What we got out here? Oh. For the power. Oh, okay. That's for the radio. Okay. Even if I did try the radio, I wouldn't yeah, be able to use go. it. Nice work. Cool. Okay. Score one for Matt and Emily. She actually added me and she actually added Matt into it. That's actually that's development. I ain't gonna lie. Emergency flare. Need that. I'll take that. Go. Cool. Okay. 
keep flare gun or give flare gun to Matt? Um, let's have Emily keep the flare gun. I'm gonna let, I wanna see how Emily rock. Shoot? Nah, we don't need to shoot that. Keep that, keep that for right now. Keep that for right now, cause yeah. If the radio don't work, then we can shoot it. But let's just keep that. All right, let's hop on that radio, see who we can get. Wait, is this, what the heck? Beth. Wait, Beth's body's missing too. Oh my goodness. So both Hannah and Beth's body are missing. Oh my gosh. Okay, that answered my question earlier. All right, Beth. All right, let's get on this radio. Of course, bro. Please, speak slowly and clearly. Over. please, please, please help. Oh my god, we're stuck on Blackwood Mountain and there's a maniac. Can this, they can't even hear us. It's a it, snowstorm, please. isn't it? Hello? I knew this shit was no point, bro. This was no point. Uh, persist. Help us. Help. Oh my god, please help. We're stuck on Blackwood Mountain by the ski lodge and, and there's a killer. And he's killed one of our friends. Oh God, please, come get us, please. You're not coming through clearly. Please repeat, over. <sighs> okay, persist, we're gonna die. Inform, we're up on the mountain. Inform, inform. We're on Blackwood Mountain by the ski lodge. There's a killer and he's after us. He's already killed one of our friends. Oh God, please. Please, bro, oh, please. I'm telling you, there is somebody bald in these woods that is stalking us, bro. It's not the psycho. It's not that old dude. No, bro. It's somebody else out here. What? When? How long? Okay, we got through. Dawn. We gonna be cooked at dawn, bro. Bro left the axe down there too, dog. Nah, it's a monster. It's definitely a monster, bro. That right there just confirms to me that there is a monster in these woods. Bigfoot, Wendigo, what would they talk about on that thing? That little um board? Oh, that was holding up the entire tower. Oh! Hold up! No! 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 Emily? Oh! Oh! Okay, QT's here. I gotta lock in, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> Is bro still trying to talk on that damn radio? Just bring help! Damn, son. Oh no. Yeah. Is Emily dead? There's no way she survived that, right? Nah, that's nah, that's crazy. No nah, way, wait. The way that the tower fell down like that, bro, that is OD, bro. How are you surviving that? All right, man. All right. This is this is this is a Damn it. This is all a mess right now. That's all I'm gonna say. This is all a mess. Is Emily cool? Can we get a confirmation on what happened to Emily? Okay, she's still a good. 
How? I don't know. I'm not gonna ask questions about it though. Em, this is pretty unsteady over here. Matt, you've gotta do something right now. What are you waiting for? I'm thinking. Let me think. Don't think, you idiot. Just get me out of here. You idiot. Okay, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Emily, you're upset. You need to calm down. Right. You're gonna be fine. Ah, oh, stop talking. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, just chill though. Like Matt is going through some pressure too. Like both of us are in some type of pressure right now. Why do you question every little thing I say? I'm goddamn sick of it. Okay, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. I'm gonna try and get to you and pull you up. Even on the verge of death, Emily is still talking her shit, bro. Uh oh. Save Emily, save Emily, save her, save her, save her, save her. Save her. I'm coming. If we can save her, here. what if they both die here, bro? This might be cooked. I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. This might be cooked. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't want to tip it. Save her, 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 save her. Just keep going, just keep going. I love on oh, everything I love I try bro verbally abusing you but dang that that just felt weird bro i ain't gonna lie that emily. Gosh. Emily. no way oh my gosh it's here no 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 idea I I how I could have gotten out of that situation, bro. Either. My man was checking himself too for a weapon. <sighs> I know where I messed up, bro. I should have given Matt the flare gun, bro. That's where I messed up at. Not giving him the flare gun messed it up, bro. Did that just happen? Holy! What's going on around here? Nah, that's a toughie, bro. <laughs> what? Chris, I just want to say it's crazy. The least person that I liked was Matt, and that's the one that got killed. <laughs> Actually, stop. No, I want to say, I mean, thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Oh, Actually, yeah. What was no I no problem. I, I mean. Okay, I, I, I couldn't let anything happen to you. I couldn't. Okay, this is the same picture that we've seen 50 million times. Okay. R.I.P. Matt, bro. Dude. Dude. Ash, you all right? Yeah, I just... I know. You and Josh were close, Chris. Let's just find Sam, okay? That, that's what we're doing I mean, now. oh my god! Ashley, just stop, okay? I don't want to think about what just happened. Chris! We're finding Sam! <laughs> I'm so blown away by what... <laughs> I'm still blown by that, bro. Holy! I should have just jumped, right? I, Matt would have still been alive if I would have just... If I would have just jumped. What the heck? That's what I get for trying to help, bro. Trying to, I'm being too nice, bro. I should have just thought about myself, bro. But that's not my way. That's not what I do for real, bro. I try to help as much as I can. I don't even know if Emily's alive, bro. Maybe I got both of them killed, to be honest. I... <sighs> this is crazy. This is so effed up. Bro, this game is so wild, bro. This is a wild game, bro. Got some paranormal stuff going on, bro. Like, tch. Wait a minute. Did you just see that? Uh, did, did I see what? That, Chris, that! 
What that was that? Got people was like, walking around here and stuff, bro. It was like a see-through like a ghost. Oh, boy. I'm serious. What Why is don't you this believe game? me? I said no. I saw it. Doesn't that count for anything? We, we've been through hell tonight, okay? Your mind is fried. My mind is fried. I, I don't even trust what I've been seeing. I'm not in the mood for the gaslighting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, no, stand on business. I saw it stand on business, I Ashley. Sure. Chris? All right, all right. Maybe, maybe it's... Maybe you did see something. Yes, let's bro. Just, let's just keep our heads. Are we going crazy down here? It, it's, it's the only place left Sam could be, Ash. I wish we could just go find everyone else and... What if Sam needs us? What if she's in trouble? Oh, God. <laughs> let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, here we go, bro. Back to this damn basement, bro. I'm sick of this basement. Dang. Hey, look, we made it this far. One person or two people died so far. Um, actually, three people because I got I forgot about Josh. Uh, yeah, it, the cast is getting picked off one by one, y'all. Or maybe two for one because Emily and Matt. Got you. Oh, see, like, what the? Be what the hell what is, is this? What is this? We should have never picked up that damn spear board. Oh now you see what's going on. See what I'm saying, bro? Out of nowhere in that specter or whatever Ashley, it was. Oh gosh, you're kind of what look, is this? Look, 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 Chris. You can see in the windows. See what? It's tiny furniture? No. It's a whole scene with dolls and everything. Yeah. Um. Huh, I, I guess you need a oh, key if you want to play need a around. Key? Yeah. Talking about a key, bro. It's like. Oh my. Gosh, is this the door that uh Sam went through? It is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, no man. Handle. No handle. Yup. You just gotta use some shoulder grease on that. That's all you gotta do. Put some put some muscle into it. Alright, what was down this hole? Wait, Chris, 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 the ghost! What? Did you see it? No. You were looking at your phone, you dip. What are you tweeting? <laughs> Hashtag there's a freaking ghost after us. Ash, calm down. <laughs> Yo. There's no ghost here. A ghost of what? You're freaking This is out. I think this is what mentally cooking uh, Ashley too, attention. bro. I saw it. I saw a ghost and it looked like Hannah. It looked wait, like Wait, Hannah. wait, 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 wait. What? Baby pet. Jesus, Ash. What, what, what do you think? They followed us up here from the seance? I don't know. Maybe. They didn't because ghosts don't exist, okay? Oh, okay, who was talking to us at the seance, Chris? I don't know. What? <laughs> Bro, see? Nah, see, we pissed somebody off. What did that? How does a picture just jump off the Oh, uh, here we go. Come on, just please, please be cool. Oh, that's the house. That's the that's the dollhouse. Oh, the key. <gasps> Thank you. All right, here we go. We got the key to the dollhouse. We're chilling. Huh. Here you go. Bro, please. Chris, turn <gasps> around, bro. There's no way you didn't see that, or or is Ashley tripping, or is she the only one that can see that? You do see it. I don't know. I I I just. Come on, come on, come on. It's showing us the way. Okay. Come on. Use that. Open that up. This is unbelievable. I feel like the ghost wanted me to see this. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is going on here? Oh God, it's, it's like... It's not like anything, that's us. Hiding there, waiting for Hannah, last year. But it's, it's so accurate. I mean, that's exactly where I was sitting and that's where Matt was. This was set up by someone who was there. Or someone, or something that was watching us. Maybe it's a warning. I think someone, I think someone put this here to mess with us. No, what? it has to be the ghost. It's trying to tell us the maniac killed Hannah and Beth. I think it's this bastard that he's, he's here trying to fuck with our heads. Why would he set this all up, Chris? He's trying to tell us that he's gonna come after us all, too. Dice! Oh, what? Hannah? It's like a her diary? It's, 
It's Hannah's diary. Oh, oh my God, Mike confirmed. He phoned Josh this afternoon. I really think really Josh think is doing Josh better now that he's out of the hospital. He's out of the hospital. I saw him today. This was before, a couple months before we all came up. Wait, I saw him I today. Saw him today. <laughs> you wanna, go ahead. He's pretty upbeat, but he talked like he's been doing therapy for such a long time. I guess I didn't know, mom and dad never let on. Funny how you cannot even know your own brother. I kind of need a good cry thinking about how lonely he must be. Dang. Feel. Mom finally agreed. The invitations are out. The party is going to happen. I hate that I have to wait. So far, Ash, Matt, and Sam have said definitely yes. Nothing from Mike. Wait. So Josh was definitely getting some mental help, bro. Dang, bro. That's wild. From down there. I don't like that doll head, bro. That doll. <laughs> I thought that doll was gonna open its eyes at me too, bro. I'm like, what? Okay, come on. Let's just keep it moving. This episode has just been a doozy, bro. Holy. Life. <gasps> God damn it. Oh my God. Nothing. But you did see it, Chris. For real. Boom. I saw... Are we tweaking or am I tweaking? But, but where'd it go? Hey. Hey, look at this. What is that? Catalog for industrial light bulbs? That is so random. Gleam professional? Huh? What? Look. One of the bulbs is circled. Yeah, it's a powerful bulb. Original lamp for RB type projectors. Lamp with housing 96. Uh, okay, what? What's the significance of that? Huh. Scissors? But these aren't your ordinary scissors. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? Forewarned is forearmed. Ashley took the scissors. This is crazy, though. Matt tried to save Emily. Matt fell into the mine and was attacked. Matt was killed. I gotta stop looking at that. Holy. Wait. What is this? Just when you think it can't get any creepier. <laughs> what the f- Uh-uh. Nope. Keep it moving. Uh, what was that? Huh. Bro, this is like a murder house, bro. What, what is going on here? Wait, there's a whole nother room through here. It's Mammoth. Chris, I don't know if I want to keep going. This, we might as well, bro. Come in on. What world are we now? This looks crazy. Did you know this was here? This, this is like a whole nother hotel. I had no idea. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like a, something else connected to this cabin. And that's where Sam went to. Okay, wait. What's down here? Another totem. Holy. <laughs> Hunger totem? It's always a first person POV with the hunger totems, bro. Nah, something's not adding up here. Something, my, my, my brain is like, I don't think I can spinning. take any more of this. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm about at my limit here too. All I wanted to do was forget last year ever happened and- To be honest, I'm not sure what Hannah thought she was doing. Yeah, well, you know how it is when you're crushing pretty hard on somebody. Great, so you're basically saying that we put a vulnerable friend in a terrible situation and essentially caused her to run away and never to be heard from again. We made her look stupid. If it was you, don't you think you would have run away? Sure. I mean, who likes being it's made fun of? <laughs> People don't make fun of me. To your face. What? <laughs> We made her look so stupid in front of all of her friends and the guy she liked. I can't imagine doing anything worse to somebody. Yeah, that's facts. Like, if anyone else was in that situation, especially in that small room with all those people, people coming out the closets and stuff, recording, I'd run too. The, like, I'm not going to stand there and tolerate that. Oh, what we got here? What is this? Hey, these. Fake newspapers? Fake? Why would anyone make fake newspapers? That's a 
really good question. Wait, that's the ex janitor newspaper that we saw a while back. Hold up. Wait, am I tripping? I can't even find that newspaper thing. It's in like none of these. That's so weird though. That is so weird. Fake newspapers for what? You know what? No. Ash. No, I've had enough. I'm not going down any further into this nightmare, Chris. Ash, this is a nightmare. I understand, okay? I'm really freaked out too, but if Sam's down there all alone with a maniac and we leave, we're basically killing her ourselves. Uh, we do have to find Sam though. Come on, let's just do it. We already down here. God, we already it. deep in. Ashley, come on. Why are you always right? I'm not always right. Well, when you're right, you're right. <laughs> I don't want to be. I want to leave. No. We've got to <laughs> find, find Sam. Sam. Let's go. All right, come on. We might as well. We already in deep. Come on. Chris, I'm getting a really weird feeling from all this. What do you mean? Well, I just, I can't shake the feeling that those fake newspapers have something to do with the guy who killed Josh. Wait, wait like, like, like what? Like it's a setup or something? Yeah, but I mean, how? It's just, it almost makes sense, but it just feels like we're missing something. That's what I'm saying. I'm feeling the same way like Ashley, bro. Like, there's, there's like a puzzle piece missing to all this. It's so confusing, bro. It's just a lot of aspects that are being thrown right now. And oh, what the heck? Mm. What? Batteries and timers. Batteries, switches, and timers wired up together. It looks like they're used to control electronic devices remotely. What is going on? TV and lights? Somebody's been controlling TV and lights with that? Things are definitely getting weird, bro. We got mannequins all over the place. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. What? That's us. Bro, look, and Matt's picture is crossed out. Photos taken with the telephoto lens. The psycho has been watching for a long time. Nah, this is crazy, bro. What happened to, um, what about Emily and Jess though? Like, what about them? Wait, Josh's picture isn't crossed either. This is getting weird. I mean, wait, what is this, like a fucking hit list? Christ. I mean, if that was the case, wouldn't Josh's picture be crossed out too? And where's Emily and Jess? It's only Matt. It's only Matt that's crossed out, bro. Uh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I got speculations, but I'm going to wait to get some more info first. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. Rip and this is where all the pig has been coming from. This can't be for Edith. Why the hell is that here? It's like a goddamn grindhouse movie here. My lord, dead pig. A pig's carcass hanging from the ceiling. It's been recently gutted. Oh man, okay. I'm getting the chills. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting some crazy chills right now. I feel like we right there, like we super close to figuring out what this cycle is all about. Wait, 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 okay. Before we go over here, is there anything in this door back here? I don't wanna like go to another room and I can't go back, you know what I mean? What is behind this door? Unless I can't open it yet. Okay, we can. Is that a movie? What is this? Hello? Oh God. Chris, it's from last year. Stupid prank. Dang. Uh, this is a little, this is a little uncomfortable, huh? I've never seen this video. I got your note. She's just so... Glad you can make it. So, what? She's so excited. And alive. She has no idea. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Well, I forgot you were such a willful participant. Yeah, I, Ashley horrible. was deep in. I ain't gonna Could lie. You're worse. She was deep in on that like you enjoying yourself. That's the worst part. Chris was knocked out on that couch with uh, Josh. It was supposed to be funny. Yeah. It's a little too far. I never want to see this video ever again. <sighs> oh, Chris, 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 Chris! What is going on? 
Ash, Ash, slow down. Okay? She's haunting us, bro. Ghosts in these videos and everything just, just flying calm down. Around. Listen to me for a what? second. What? Calm down? Why should I calm down? Chris, I am freaking this out. This has right got to be someone messing with us. What? Think about it. Ghosts don't hook up video cameras. They don't play games. Then who? I don't know. Up? Seriously, I'm asking. I don't know. Maybe the same person who tied you up and killed Josh. Yeah, great. The same person. That's some good see. editing skills. Right if now. that's the case. Maybe you're right. I wish I wasn't. Let's just get up out of here, man. I'm, I'm not really. <laughs> I'm not really with the with the shenanigans going on in there. So uh, let's just keep going. Keep going deep in. I, I wish we could just turn around and and just pretend like none of this happened. But we gotta keep moving forward, man. Gotta keep going. Oh, crap. Look at that. What? Might be Sam's. All right, let me see if I can get this. Yeah, I got it. But oh damn, this thing is heavy. Be careful. You gotta come through, Ash. I I can't hold it. Uh, oh, come on. Chris. It's what? I think I just saw Sam over there. Ash, are you sure? I don't know, but come on, I think we should check it out. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure whoever's bleeding came through here, okay? So we really gotta get moving, like now. Investigate movement? I'm just gonna go with Chris. I'm not gonna separate. I'm not gonna separate. Okay, you're right. I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good. Separating is not the best option right now. Let's just keep it together. Buddy system. Come on. Look at this, bro. This is definitely a slaughterhouse. Sam? Oh my gosh. I thought Sam was hiding low key, y'all. I thought she she got away from bro. Let's just take it to the chin, man. Come on. <sighs> oh, Chris. Oh, no. Hello? No Sam? way. I thought I got her out the. Sam. That damn clown mask, bro. I don't get it. It's a dummy. Yeah, no, I can see that. Why is it dressed up like Sam? I don't know. Why would someone? She got her clothes like taken. Chris, I don't know, and I'm kind of freaking out. Where the hell is Sam? Who? <gasps> Behind you, Chris. <gasps> oh shit! Oh come on! No, get back! Come on, Ashley. Get the hell away from me! Yeah, come on, Ashley. Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What? What's up with him decking people in the mouth like that, bro? Dang. Plug. Oh, my fucking head. Oh, he put Chris shit. on that galaxy gas, though. Oh, crap. Dang. Ash. Ash. Here we go with another oh, damn game, Jesus. bro. Ash, what this cycle is like. I think he hit you me. are a sick, shit. I'm gonna murder sick his human being. Face off. Even if you are like, what? Are, I don't even know if you are human. You just sick. This is him. No, Chris. This is the guy who killed Josh. Oh, God. No, God. You murdered a piece of shit. You monster. Oh, We're gonna die, Chris. I don't think I'm ready to die. No one is going to die. I wish I could tell you. It's just not fair. Ah! What? Tell me what. It's too late. Chris, what's the point? Stop it. Just say. We're always talking around it. And now, I mean, we've wasted everything. Ashley, none of it was wasted. What do you mean? Every second that I spent with you was the only thing I ever wanted to do with my time. <laughs> Dang, what real Chris saying, right there. Chris? It's a real moment. <laughs> I should have told you how I felt. That's why I like Chris, bro. <laughs> Ashley, I swear when we get out of this. Oh, God. <laughs> Ashley, I'll get you out of this. I won't leave, die. Hello there. I'm about to say you want to tell us the rules? So what's going on? Oh, shit. He's here. Oh, you should be, Ash. Because here's the twist. Chris has made one fatal choice already today. No. And now he must make another. Dang. Chris, you can take that gun in front of you and shoot Ashley, or you can shoot yourself. Whoever is left can live. The choice is yours. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. This was in the totem, bro. Oh my god, no! No, no! Chris! 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 Chris!
you want to shoot it though. We're about to do anything. Oh! Ah! Oh! I'm not gonna do anything. I, I just want to see. Are we both gonna? Wait, we might both die. I see two saw blades. You have gone too far now. Don't you see? Huh? Don't you see that this torture porn has gone too far? Huh? Now what gives you the right to play God in these people's lives? What makes you so special then? Huh? Wait. Am I the psycho, y'all? Am I really? Because I'm like really playing with their lives. You're sick. You're a sick fuck! Am I the psycho, bruh? What the hell have you done to them? Huh? What the hell have you done to them? Psychopath. Psychopath. Wait. I'm the psycho. Bro. Well, they all have it, y'all. <laughs> Episode three of Until Dawn. If y'all did enjoy the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. A lot was going on in this episode, bro. We had the whole thing with Mike. I think that went pretty well, you know what I'm saying? Besides the end where like the whole thing exploded, like the hallway exploded and he just like had that cinematic moment. He's like, ugh, you know what I'm saying? And then we had Matt and Emily. Dude, I am almost 100% sure that Matt could have, like he could have lived, right? He could have lived if i gave him the flare gun because you see how he was checking he was checking his body and i think that's what he was looking for was like that flare gun if he would have had it he would have been able to you know poof, all that or if i would have just left emily if i would have just jumped instead of trying to save emily not once but twice and just left her he would have been alive but maybe at the cost of emily but i think i just got emily and matt killed and next after that we got the whole ashley and chris situation i don't know what happened with that i'm not too sure because it's like at the end all i heard was ashley screaming and i'm i was listen at the end i was tapping r2 i was definitely gonna shoot myself i was definitely gonna, i wasn't gonna let the timer run out but i think i waited a little too late and the timer just ran out on both of us. I'm, that's on me. If they both died off that, I take full responsibility. The whole Matt thing, bro, I just, I'm mad about that. That right there just got me. Cause it's like, that's a hard one. That's definitely a hard one. Also, Sam too, like, there's a lot of people that like, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know at all. And I feel like I'm losing my mind over it, bro. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, bro. The hit list, it only showed Matt getting crossed out. Josh was like still alive on that hit list and there was no um there was no uh Jess or Emily like what happened to them and then we got the thing that dragged Matt to his death it's like we got monsters in the in the woods we got a psycho that's like playing jigsaw games with these people and then we got that we got that uh that stranger dude with the wolves like it's a lot of a lot of things going on at once that I'm trying to wrap my head around and trying to figure out bro this is the ultimate mystery clue Scooby Doo I, I don't know, bro. Huh? I just can't, bro. Um, But yeah, anyways, y'all, like I said before, bro, like, share, subscribe if you did enjoy. Thank y'all so much once again. Stay cheerful, stay motivated, and stay blessed, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.